What is TECO planning to do at the Big Bend power station and why do you oppose that? So TECO is proposing about $858 million build out of their uh, existing gas infrastructure, expanding it by about 1,000 megawatts. Um, they're planning on refurbishing some of their coal units to gas, but um, they're also telling people that they're moving away from coal, which if you look at their 10-year site plans, this is something that we've been raising a lot of awareness around. They actually plan on burning more coal in 2028 than they did this year. So long-term plans, we're not seeing any real uh, long-term plan towards sustainability, towards reducing emissions. We're actually seeing just a temporary build-out of their solar, increasing to about 7%, and then they're going to be increasing coal usage. It'll be about 12% coal in 2028. People say, or let me start that question over. The TECO told Hillsborough County that they needed to convert to natural gas in order to power the, the area, mm -hmm. but um, you disagree. You think that it could be, they could convert to solar instead. Well, we're seeing that, you know, the economics of this just play out where clean energy is the favorable alternative. You know, i got to remind people that the cost of these plans is, the actual build-out is probably about half the cost. When you're talking about the life of the project, half of the costs related to this are fuel costs. So with gas, that's a variable cost, even if you maintain flat projections for costs. Let's say that gas did not increase one single cent for the next 30 years. Uh, we still see billions of dollars that we're going to be spending on gas, as opposed to solar energy, which costs us nothing. So um, we, that's where we really see the savings, is if we did an a honest build-out to, um, you know, in large amounts of solar, we would see reduced costs in the future. Tico actually was part of a study with a group called First Solar that showed that they needed to about quadruple their solar output, go from about 7% to 28%. If they did that, they would see tremendous cost savings for their customers. Now, this information TECO did not submit to the Public Service Commission or to the DEP or to the Administrative Law Judge uh, in, the pro in the approval process for this power plant. They're asking for the judge to look at this very narrowly and not look at the long-term economic costs that will be saved from clean energy. And you haven't even talked about the costs of pumping more CO2 into the atmosphere and the costs of, of the effects of that. Right. Um, you know, we've seen not just the fact that gas is susceptible to price shocks. We could see the price of gas increase tomorrow, and then that would set us up for terrible losses in the future. But you're right. Climate change is real, and it's happening. The city of Miami is right now spending hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, to combat the effects of climate change right now. 30 to 40 years from now, it's going to get worse if we keep adding to the problem. You know, that doesn't even include also the health impacts. You know, people every single day are getting sick from this stuff. Uh, recently, there was a report done by Scientific America that shows that coal plants are about 100 times more radioactive than nuclear plants. So you're seeing, and that comes from the heavy metals that are being emitted into the air from these coal stacks. People are getting sick from that, and somebody has to foot the bill for that. Now, uh, this vote, uh, not to get ahead of myself, but uh, this is going to be going to Governor DeSantis next week for a vote on the 25th. He does position himself as the economics governor and also is the, the energy Republican, uh, one we haven't seen here in a long time, or I'm sorry, the, the environmentalist Republican, um, we would like to see him actually truly embrace that and look at this in honest, in an honest fashion. We, we know for a fact that the economics are on our side, that if you include also the health impacts, the climate change impacts, it becomes a total landslide victory for clean energy. So uh, we're asking him to review all those facts. Uh, and, you know, in, and do an honest look at what is the future of the state of Florida going to look like. Is this going to be something that we just keep allowing utilities to just take, 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 you know, build profits for their investors, but leave Florida for the bill to clean up their mess? And you are trying to convince the governor and the Florida cabinet to vote against this conversion to, clean, to natural gas and to coal with a rally on Friday. That's right. So, um, We've been doing this uh, Tell the Truth Tico campaign for about a year now. Uh, this will be kind of the culmination of that. We're going to be sharing a lot of the information that Tico has actually not been telling the public. Uh, specifically, two of the things we mentioned today. A lot of the health impacts that are being experienced, uh, the climate change impacts that we're sure to see, the economics of this, the fact that they didn't do an open, a public bidding process for this. Uh, we, hold, we maintain that if they did do a, maintain, did, did do a public bidding process for this, that solar energy would emerge as the, the cheapest option. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, not just the upfront cost, but the long-term cost. It, sh it just makes sense. It doesn't, we don't need to be continuing to spend all this money just to make TECO investors rich. Um, the one thing TECO won't tell you that they're not very honest about is that they own gas investments. This is why there's a big push here locally to invest so heavily in gas, because they don't just make money burning at the facility, they also make money piping it into the state. 
the details of Friday's rally? So it's going to be at 6 p.m. at Gaslight Park. Um, we're going to be doing a, um, a mock trial of sorts where we're going to be holding Tego accountable and having the community uh, as a jury, judge, and um, yeah, we're going to be making sure that Tico knows that how we feel exactly about what they're doing and sending a loud message to the governor about what the community wants and needs. Well, thanks so much for your time, Gonzalo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me.